Well, we're at Guernsey Airport. Uh, it's the end of our trip here and a chance to talk to the man in charge of Rini uh, before he retires. And uh, to say the least, we've, I think everyone on our trips had the most amazing time. Um, it's been a two-way street, though, hasn't it? Sure. How's it worked for you as an airline? Um, it's been a huge success. I think we've been all surprised by how many people have wanted to go between uh, the two islands. Mm. Uh, when we've sold way over 7,000 one-way seats right. and we think it's pretty well balanced in terms of people coming from the Isle of Man down to Guernsey and people from Guernsey going up mm-hmm. to the Isle of Man. So we're heading for, I don't know, 1,500, 2,000 people in each direction. And if you had been doing this, would, are you still clobbered with all the other routes or how's it going? Um, other routes, uh, Southampton. Right. That's it. That's it. Uh, and yeah, we're still in, in uh, self-isolation if you travel. Uh, as you are in the Isle of Man, mm-hmm. and so people coming into uh, Guernsey uh, have to go to 14, uh, seven days at the yeah. moment. But that's just changing. Some of the zones of England are now back to 14 days. So it's still such an uncertain uh, future in terms of air travel. A lot of talk, though, at uh, our end, your end, about more interaction. You're a state-owned, is that how to yeah, pronounce sure. it? Yeah, government, uh, airline, yeah. uh, which in itself obviously brings a lot of issues and Baggage-wise, you have quite a, uh, a loss each year you're making. Sure. Such, right? yeah. um, it's not a thing to them for run airlines, is it? Because you, they're not things that make money. Um, it's very difficult in the regional airline market uh, to make money con- consistently. Uh, but yeah, we're not just a commercial operation. We're here re- very much as a social, uh, social economic enabler mm-hmm. and uh, helping uh, keep... Guernsey connected to the rest of the, the rest of the world, particularly London in normal times, Manchester and regional points. And uh, sorry, on today's news uh, on Island FM, I think it's here. The radio stations announced that you you're going to pick up the Fly B slots to Heathrow. Um, we've been offered the slots at Heathrow, but oh. only for a very very short period of time. Oh, okay. So we're not going to get any what they call historic rights. So we could operate it this winter. But frankly, at the moment, operating anywhere this winter is so uncertain and the demand for air travel is so fragile mm-hmm. uh, that it looks very difficult to operate to Heathrow. Oh, so you're not doing it then? It's, uh, um, it, it's unlikely we're oh, going to okay. do it. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, and we, in the Isle of Man, of course, we've got uh, particularly one MHK who's really pushing for this idea of having an airline as well. And presumably the t- obvious tie-in would be with someone like yourself. Would you see that happening? Um, why not? I would never say never. I think there's uh, some good synergies between the Isle of Man and Guernsey. Mm. Uh, I think having your own uh, airline, having control over your own air service mm-hmm. destiny is so important. You know, we're in such difficult times, such uh, delicate times really in terms of air service. You just don't know. Next week an airline could just go bankrupt, another one, another one. And there are only a very few regional airlines still standing. So uh, I think it's, this winter is going to be really tough for all of us in the industry. I, mean, I presume you need closed skies, don't you, to really make a, a, yeah. that thing work? And you, you haven't, you've got a hybrid sort of version? I mean, you have got uh, competition, haven't you? We've got competition. I think open skies in markets this size in normal times makes no sense. Uh, and it makes even less sense uh, in, mm-hmm. you know, in in the current environment, and I think the same is true for the Isle of Man too. I mean, do people pick off? I mean, we've got EasyJet that comes in on on certain routes. They even look at Manchester now. Apparently, but they're trying to sell tickets that we may not be able to use. But that's another story. Is is that frustration for you? Because I'm assuming your tickets are more expensive, are they in, in general? Because you, well, you know. we haven't got the as a small operator, we haven't got the economies of scale that a large operator has. Mm-hmm. We haven't got large aircraft, and the runway here in Guernsey is is too short for large aircraft. But that keeps out some of the competition, doesn't it? Which keeps out some of the big competition, yeah. but there's still plenty of small operators that will, will happily compete against us, mm-hmm. even to the point that people are losing hand, of man, uh, hand over fist and, and still come in and compete. But So it's not out of the question that it be, could be a trip uh, from Nalaban to Guernsey, Guernsey on to Heathrow yeah. or something, in some potential the, the, or something like that? I, I think everything is possible. Yeah. Um, I think what we need is stability and I fear that stability will only really come when there's a, there's a vaccine for, yeah. for this virus. Um, up until that point it's just going to be so hit and miss, things are going to change by the week and I think for most people unless they've got essential journeys to make they've almost given up travelling. Yeah. So it's essential travel only, that sort of, that sort of travelling on a whim, I've seen a show in London that's come up and I've got some tickets and I'm just going to go that just doesn't happen, well the theatres are closed, so 
And so all that sort of discretionary travel is, is at a really small and it's just travel if you really must. And what all the time the market stays like that, it's just going to be very, very difficult. Mm. You're coming, you're leaving soon. I mean, it's, it's been a controversial thing, isn't it, Arini, anyway? But for people it's like Marmite, very much they love the idea or they hate the idea. You, it's a hard sell it sometimes? I think it's most people like the idea of having their own airline. Um, uh, but in normal times, uh, people complain about the fares, you know, they want lower fares. Mm-hmm. Why can't we have fares that are the same at EasyJet and Ryanair? Um, so the economics just don't, don't stack up for us. Finally, why are we wearing masks on the plane? We've seen the Isle of Man in here. Because we were, uh, I, I, mean, I heard about it, but I thought, well, what, that's the only time, of course, we were doing masks at all. Why is it you, are you insisting upon this? No, it, well, it was a joint thing, actually. We had uh, a request from the medical authorities in the Isle of Man that we should be oh, it's our putting, end. Putting, and, and, and vice versa. Oh, right. The recommendation here was that we should be wearing masks. So, <laughs> so we're wearing masks, not just on the Isle of Man flights, but also to yeah. Southampton as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but apart from that, it just reminds you that there is a virus out there yeah. and uh, how lucky we are. And what about future connections now? Are you coming to the end of this? I know you're looking for intentions for maybe the uh, school half term but otherwise this comes to an end soon doesn't it so the current series of flights comes to an end this week right uh, the agreement between as I understand the agreement between the Isle of Man government and the Guernsey government uh, comes to an end this week oh. too because they, they, they waived the landing fees didn't they for you? Um, the landing fees on uh, are, 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 are very low oh. which has made it which has made it attractive for us so we will do it we will we would go we will bring some uh, planes up in the half term week yeah yeah, we just need to get the governments to agree that they want that to continue and that they're happy to waive the quarantine requirements between yes. the two islands. And so this is uh, bogged down, is it? In, in, at the it's government it's not bogged down at all. No. I mean, we, we just, I'm sure we just need to ask the question. In right. fact, we only asked the question today. So supposing you know, we, we're still without any sort of vaccine, do you think this time next year we'll have the same arrangement potentially in place? Of course, why not? I mean, it's worked really well this year. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, next summer is an awful long way away, sure. isn't it? And who knows uh, what appetite people have got to do anything uh, if we haven't got the vaccine in place. Mm-hmm. So let's wait and see. But uh, I would hope so. And I think there is good potential to have some sort of air link and air service uh, on a regular basis between Guernsey and the Isle of Man. 